Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, distinguished guest on the dais, Mr. Pankaj, Mr. Orbin, uh, Mr. Uh, Bhargav. Uh, I think, uh, I think, as uh, PD sir has rightly pointed out, and uh, thank them for, not just for their time. I think today uh, we, as faculty and students, will be able to you know learn a lot of uh, you know and gather a lot of insights into what is being shared here and that is the purpose of you know engaging with the stakeholder which is very important to us as we uh, go through the process of educating these young minds here uh, we take this opportunity i think to learn from you sir and uh, uh, i heard overheard possibly if i have to say and it's a very, really bad habit in terms of when he was talking to the chairman he, uh, mr pankaj asked as to what you know, is the reason for you to come up with an institution. When we started off in the year 2000, I think the idea behind having, and uh, somewhere he mentioned in between about Mr. Modi that uh, it was a divine ordained, it, it, it was truly a divine ordained, uh, you know, meeting because uh, Chairman Sir happens to be uh, the, the uh, disciple, initiated disciple of the Ramakrishna order. And he was in deep Himalayas with uh, Swami Jitatmananji Maharaj. And this is where they thought of having something in the name of Swamiji in Delhi. Because why Swamiji? Because he's a right blend of, you know, uh, philosophies, Eastern wisdom blended with uh, Western science. And this is what Chairman Sir always wanted, uh, you know, to raise uh, uh, these students to the level where they, uh, we, we contribute in nation building. I was in the morning reading a lot about IT sector because and, and telecom for that matter because then uh, we have all the doyans from uh, the same industry, they're representing the same uh, and they have a bird's eye view of things happening. Uh, I just read about it and I was asking Mr. Bhargav this morning that it is projected, though it is on a downturn now because of a lot of you know uh, consolidation happening within the industry. I was uh, asking him as to, uh, you know, uh, the 10 million jobs that have been projected in next five years are going to come at what levels? Fine, so top management would be what percentage of 10 million and so and so forth. Why is that insight important to us as an educational institution is because a lot of effort has been made in terms of, you know, getting the young minds and the young, uh, the, the, we, India in fact happens to have the largest, youngest population in the world and employment is going to be a big challenge before them. And it is something that we all, you know, as educational institutions wonder as to what are we going to do with you people. And this is where those insights from uh, these three industry leaders would help us understand, tweak our, you know, curriculum in a way where we are able to offer certain value addition, uh, you know, added courses to add to their knowledge, to make them more employable. I think that's where we would stand to gain from all of them. There's a five minute video on uh, YouTube. I, I think as students of management studies and IT both should possibly go. Uh, it shares, you know, uh, it's a time lapse video which shows uh, the top of, of Fortune 500 companies and top 15, they're bracketed into top 15 finally, where it shows how companies, you know, have changed from 2000 and the names which were not even visible on the map have come up, you know, in terms of uh, they're getting number one and number two positions. So Facebook, which was not even, you know, on the map in the year 2000, is, is now, you know, challenging the number one spot and it, it, it keeps changing between Microsoft and uh, so the kind of disruption that is happening all over and, and the kind of might, I think, uh, China, we are concerned about China as well because it's not just uh, the, they're expanding their you know reach in terms of they're outsourcing a lot of earlier uh, there are a lot of jobs which used to come to you know the manufacturing which used to come to china because of low cost they've started you know shifting it to africa and countries like it because the uh, the silk route revival that is happening now is is something which is going to again change the landscape of uh, the manufacturing sector that we have I think uh, I would not like to take much of your time because I think we are here to hear our experts speak a lot about and share their insights. With those words, I would like to thank you all and uh, we welcome you once again, sir.